there's a lot happening in your local council that you're probably not aware of. Now, amongst Adelaide's local governments, the progressive city of West Torrens has some great news stories on both big picture ventures and grassroots ideals that just need telling. The impressive City of West Torrens supported Clifford Street Community Garden at Torrensville is not just a place where plants grow, but the local community as well. Roz, you're the team leader of community development of the council. You must be really pleased with the way the gardens turned out. Absolutely, Kim. This is actually only 12 months old. Started from humble beginnings of six little plots, and you can see now we have a fabulous lot of 19. It's fabulous. What was the motivation for the council in developing this garden? We did a bit of a community consultation. A garden was the thing that they wanted. And we had this land gifted to us. So as a parcel, the lady wanted it to be used for community use. What better use? So who are you finding using it at the moment? Lots of new arrivals, lots of people, uh, local people. That's the general interest. They come from all ages. They can be from 80 to our youngest tots are about three years old. We could nearly put some plants in there, couldn't we? And the worm would help it. What do the gardeners enjoy most out of the out of the garden here? Well, I think they probably garden for part of the time, and the rest of the time they have a bit of a chin wag. But the nice part about it is that they've formed that bond and a friendship. They help each other and learn from each other. Well, what I'd like to show you, Kim, is that if you leave celery to grow without pipes around it, it it's green, rank and uh, unattractive. By growing it in a PVC pipe with a split down the side, I can grow nice, clean, straight, crisp celery. Fruit trees, veggies, herbs, Ros, fantastic. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, Kim, for coming out. On a larger scale, the City of West Torrens has been busy working on projects of a sustainable nature with great outcomes. Breakout Creek is one of those successes. Council's environmental officer, Amy Bruckman, explains why. So Breakout Creek was constructed in the 1930s to help alleviate local flooding issues, as well as provide a direct channel for the River Torrens out to the sea. How has the area been transformed? The Adelaide Mount Lofty Ranges Natural Resources Manager Board and the City of West Torrens undertook works to improve the area in 2010. And this project involved deepening and widening the channel, constructing viewing platforms further downstream, as well as undertaking some preliminary plantings. Once we've been planting, we've seen a lot of return of bird life as well. So the purple swan pens, the Eurasian coots, and you can hear them in the distance. We get about 100 volunteers coming here each year and helping to plant about 5,000 seedlings. And that's been thanks to ongoing partnership with Greening Australia and the Natural Resources Management Board. What type of plants have you used in the area? Well, we've revegetated the area using a variety of local native plants, so what would have occurred around the area prior to European settlement. And along the waterway, we've used riparian species, which is important habitat for wildlife. It also helps slow the flow of water moving down the River Torrens and improves the water quality before it exits to the sea. It's a really enjoyable place for people to visit and enjoy passive recreation, such as walking and cycling. It's great to find out what's happening in your local government area. There's lots to celebrate. Now, for more information on the city of West Torrens and their innovative and diverse projects like Breakout Creek and the Clifford Street Community Garden, just head to their website.